address this uh, gathering. Asante sana. Thank you very much, Betty, and uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Let's take our seats. Asante Nisana. Uh, first, it gives me great pleasure to be here this morning uh, to be part of this historic occasion. As has been said ably by the Secretary General of uh, Africa uh, Continental Free Trade Area, this event today it marks the first step in a journey to our continent from export of raw material to the rest of the world to export of processed, manufactured products, not just to our continent, but to the rest of the world. This is a very significant step. And when we began the journey to consolidate the market in Africa and provide the infrastructure using the FTA statute. It looked like it was a dream, but today we are living that dream as reality. This first step is historic in the sense that we now can harvest the returns of the huge market, the one billion uh, people market in our continent. The infrastructure provided by the Africa Continental Free Trade Area of making it easier for us to overcome all barriers to trade and all barriers to doing business with ourselves in this continent is a very significant uh, step in making Africa overcome its challenges of investment and its challenges of trade. I am very happy that it is the farmers who have made this first step a reality. And I'm saying it is the ordinary farmers. You've heard that KTDA is a consolidation of 650,000 farmers, most of them on under one acre of production of tea. And it's amazing how ordinary people, a farmer on one acre can make Africa continental free trade area a reality. That is the power of unity. That's the power of consolidation. That is the power of aggregation. And that's the power of working together. So I look forward to many, many more steps in our journey to ensuring that we grow the intra-trade in our continent from the current 15 to 18 percent to where other continents are, upwards of 50 percent. I know that it will require a lot of political goodwill, as has been said here. It will require a lot of uh, building of confidence between uh, our business people our entrepreneurs and our investors, but I stand here as one of the policy makers that we undertake that we will do our bit as policy makers to make this a reality. So Mr. Secretary General, you have Kenya on board. Kenya believed in the Africa continental free trade area from the beginning. I think 
there is normally a debate as to which country signed and ratified the Africa Continental Free Trade Area. I think the action of today that Kenya has taken the first step confirms that Kenya indeed was the first country to ratify and deposit the instruments of ratification uh, because we believe from the beginning that this is the way to liberate our continent from underdevelopment. We will continue to work with all partners in our continent. I want to take this occasion, Mr. Secretary General, to ask our brothers and sisters in this continent that it is indeed in our interest that we actualize the benefits that come with the infrastructure that is being built by the Africa Continental Free Trade Area so that our continent can take its rightful place as a mover in the economy of the world. Africa today only contributes 3% of trade in the whole world. It is time that we occupy our rightful place. And I believe that Africa Continental Free Trade Area gives us the platform to be able to actualize our dream of taking Africa to this rightful place in matters trade, in matters investment, and in matters business. Um, I am acutely aware that majority of the farmers, whether it's tea or coffee, many of them are small-scale farmers. And small-scale farmers have done their best to put our country in the map. They are the pride of our exports. They contribute. 90% of all the tea we export is grown by farmers on one acre, half an acre. And this year, we earned 1.1 billion shillings. 1.1 billion dollars, sorry. 1.1 billion dollars from the export of tea that is significant. That is what consolidation does. That is what aggregation does. And that is why I have intentionally set up two ministries, trade, investment, and industry, and another one for cooperatives and SME development, because that is the space that gives us 80% of our jobs, and drives our economy and our GDP significantly. I look forward to working with the whole array of uh, sector players in this, in this space, and specifically working with our farmers to begin with. Our very first intervention on farmers, and I discussed this with KTDA, is to try and reduce the cost of production so that we can enhance our productivity. Progressively, progressively, we are going to work with our farmers so that we can better support them in production. I have said we are going to make a conscious decision to support our production and not to subsidize our consumption. That is the trajectory we are going, and that is why I want to ask uh, our farmers uh, progressively that we are going to be working with you. The government of Kenya will work with you towards enhancing our productivity and increasing our production of the cross-section of all the 
um, items that we